Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. In the previous video, we have seen the factory IO designing of pick and place palletizer, which was this. In today's video, we are going to understand its ladder programming step by step. So, without wasting a time, let's quickly start the video. In the previous video, I forget to show you about my this driver details. That is, what are my inputs and outputs connected to our PLC SIM. So, here in the factory I.O., as I told you, I am going to use factory I.O. button as my start stop button. So, this is by default over here. I have connected over here 5.0. Now, this address is important. How you can change this address? In the configuration, in the offset, you have to write 5 over here. Now, uh, we have two sensors, capacitive sensor 0 for sensing the presence of plate, capacitive sensor 1 for sensing the presence of box, okay. Now, we have three digital outputs, first is 4 meter conveyor for plates, this is 6 meter conveyor for boxes and this is our grab, grab the object, that is our output Q0.2 and now we have two axes. So, this is our first, okay, let me maximize this. So, this is our x axis QD30 and this is our z axis QD34. Actually, in the real life, uh, we give voltages or if it is servo drive, we give pulses. But in the factory IO, it is asking for volts. But that also, if we are doing a real life project, okay, there is real life circuit and we want analog output voltage. Then we need analog module and also we have to move a decimal value like 27,000 or 20,000 like that or 10 volt. But here in the factory IO, if you want to give 10 volt to X axis, then we have to move 10 in QD30. If you want to move 5 volt in X axis, we just have to move 5 in QD30. That is how factory IO works okay so here in the factory io if i want to move x axis 6 units then i just have to move 6 in qd30 and similarly qd34 for z axis this is the thing okay uh, this thing will be clear to you when i will explain you my ladder logic so first let me show you uh, this was our video this box will stop over here and this pick and place robot will place four plates in this box and then another box will come over here. So, this is complete automatic process starting by this button, okay. And it's little programming we are going to see today. So, first uh, just uh, let's say one box and then we will move to programming part. Okay, this is the last plate that we are going to draw and then the next box will come and the process will repeat automatically. So, you can see over here, I have just written 13 networks for this full automatic machine. If you don't know how to create the project in TIA portal and how to link it with factory IU, you can watch first three videos of our this YouTube series factory IO and you will come to know it because that steps are repetitive and time taking. That's why I skipped in this video. Simply I have created a project, selected one device and then I copy pasted one function block of factory IO uh, which is something like this and then I have to enable that function. So first network in our all the projects will be this network only. How to get this? You can drag and drop this box over here and in at the question mark you have to write FC9000. So, this will be created automatically. Then press enter. So, it will be created like this. So, now out of the 13, one network is this. So, only 12 network remaining. So, first is set and reset the system. So, here I am not using any physical button. I am just using this simulation on off button as my start stop button of the system. So, let's explore this network. 
as soon as this button is on, you can see factory I/O is running. But there is one condition over here. I have taken one memory word. What is this memory word? You can see this is our auto process taking place. Okay. So whenever this auto place is taking place, means picking the object and then placing it over here. That is the one process. So when this process is going on, uh, it will not set this conveyor. Okay. Plate conveyor. And you can see when the box is completed, at only that time, this conveyor will be set. How this is reset? So, friends, I was telling about when my this button is off. You can see factory IO is off. Okay. So, this bit is off, but NC will be on. So, I have reset means I have reset my digital outputs over here. You can see. I have three digital outputs, conveyor and grab plate, that is. And for my analog outputs, what I will do, I will move zero, QD30 and QD34, that is here in my drivers. These are my input and outputs, to capacitive sensor and factory I.O. button is my trust to button, uh, this for sensing plate and this for sensing boxes. I have three digital outputs, two belt conveyor and one grab the plate that is and two analog outputs uh, this is my x-axis and this is my y-axis so i move 0 to 10 value in that and accordingly my axis moves so i move 0 in this axis so it will come to zero position when i press this stop button and i have used two memory words for auto process that will also become zero uh, what are the use of this memory words we will see later words this was my network number 2 set and reset the system now logic for stopping the conveyors because both conveyor stop at different interval of time so let's see that whenever there is the first pulse like plate is came and this capacitor senses its rising edge it will reset the plate conveyor and uh, wherever there is the rising edge of the box over here that will also reset this box conveyor okay so let me show you like this when this both sensor get on, the conveyor will stop. Okay. So this is the third network. Now, here is the important network start auto cycle. When both of these sensors are on, you can observe. Then, what is the another condition? You can see MW10. This is my memory word for auto process. So you can see it will go up to eight values in one auto process because there are eight steps in my one cycle after it it will become zero so when this auto bit is zero and both of these sensors are on then what i will do i will increment my mw10 by value one okay initially it is zero and both of these sensors are present on then it will move i mean it will increment my mw 10 to 1 okay so this is when my auto cycle will start both sensors are on and this bit is zero so i have used comparison block over here then it will increment mw 10 by 1 now what will happen when the value of memory bit is 1 so this is our first step that axis should move to 10. Okay. After some time, it will increment MW by MW 10 by 1. So my first step is completed. What is my first step? To move the Z axis. When the first step is completed, after some time delay of 1 second, I will, what I will do? I will increase my memory bit so I can initiate my second step. Okay. Observe over here. This is my first step. So it will move my z-axis and after some time it will increment my memory bit. So this condition will be false. So this will be not trigger again. Okay. Now after z-axis comes down, my second step is to grab this object. Okay. So when the memory word is equals to 2, this is again comparison block. Then it will set my grab plate output. Okay. After some time, that is 0.5 second, 
I will increase the value of memory bit so that I can initiate my third step. So what is my third step? Move Z axis up. So over here, if the value of memory word is 3, it will move 0 in my Z axis. 0 means Z axis will go upwards. First I move 10, now I am moving 0. And after some time delay, again I am increasing my memory bit for going to the next step. Okay, so observe over here. First step, move Z axis down, grab object, come upwards, then I want to move X axis. Okay, so in the next step means when my memory word is equals to 4, I have to move X axis. So here I have written move X axis forward. So we will observe over here. Now this is fourth step is initiated. So I move x to the 8 points. I am moving x to 8 points. So this is my fourth step moving x axis and after some time delay I will increment my memory word. So when the value of memory word is 5, what is my sequence? My sequence is to move z axis downwards. Okay, observe over here. Fourth, now fifth step move z axis downwards and with one time delay I have to reset it. So it will release the plate. Okay. You can see this output and this output are opening simultaneously just with delay of one second. So fifth step move downward and release the plate. And after some time delay, I am also increasing the memory bit by one. So now memory bit will become six. So what is my sixth step? Okay, let's see over here. I have to move 0 in Z axis, so it Z axis moves upwards. Okay. Let me show you again. When the memory bit is equal to 6, I am moving 0 to Z axis and incrementing the memory bit after time delay of 1 second. And after moving Z axis up, what is my last step? I want to move X axis backwards. So this is my last step, X axis backwards. So, when the memory word is 7, I want to move 0 in my x axis. So, x axis comes to home position. And because uh, as soon as this network is uh, becoming true, it is incrementing my memory word without any time delay. So, sometimes we can't see it, but you can see x axis is going to home. So that now my memory word will become 8, okay? So when my memory word becomes 8, my cycle is completed. So what I am doing, I am taking one output. Uh, why I am taking this uh, memory register? I will, I want to count the number. One cycle means one plate is kept, okay? So I want to count the number of plates in the box. That's why I have taken this memory bit. And after some time delay, what I am doing, I am moving 0 to my memory word 10. Okay. So when the 8 steps are completed, it will again become 0. So the whole process will start from the first step. That is moving the Z axis down and that all steps. Okay. And also, it will set my plate conveyor. This one. Okay. Without, if this is not set, uh, another plate will not come. Okay. You can see this is set it. And it will reset by this sensor, okay? So when my auto cycle is completed, one means one plate is kept over here. I want to start it again. So I have to move zero in my auto cycle memory bit. This is that. And I also have to start this conveyor so that another plate comes over here. Now, how I am counting the four box, okay? So in the this network, we have set one I mean, we have turned on one memory bit, 2.0. So with the 2.0, I am counting up. I have taken one count up timer, okay? And I have set it to 4. So when this condition is true, means counter will reach to the value 4, it will start my box conveyor, okay? Let's see over here. Uh, right now, it's three players are kept. You can see three over here. It will complete it counting. It will 
move our box conveyor. You can see it move our box conveyor. And I am taking another memory bit to reset itself. Okay. So when the counter completed its value, this bit will be on. And by M4.0, I will again make the counter 0 so that it can again count the 4 boxes. And when I press the stop button, at that time also, my counter should become 0. So, this is the simple network for this automatic pick and place robot which is taking the plates in the box. Okay. If you don't understand, uh, just repeat this video two or three times and everything will be clear to you. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, show your interest by liking and subscribing our YouTube videos. See you in the next video with another interesting example.